Perfect Earth Podcast, episode 152, Lamar. We're preparing for the Thanksgiving season with a movie called Turkey Shoot that has nothing to do with turkeys or Thanksgiving. Correct. <laughs> but it has turkey in the, you know, title. So, of course, Thanksgiving, turkeys that go and, together. And yes. that's why you thought to choose this one. <laughs> yes. Oh, don't do that. Because... How we're we're trying to make more awareness that there's a lack of Thanksgiving movies, ah. so we just just attribute anything that has turkeys or something into it. Okay. Well, yes. This movie came mm. out in 1982. Yes. And it's a it's a people hunting people movie, which is a, yes a common B movie trope. <laughs> well, it has a lot of other things. We have a lot it of does. things about society, fascism. Yep. So yeah, this movie. Where, where do we start, Joe? Where, where well, are we, we start, start as always well, with the story? So in the future, I guess in this world, um, society has become very you know structured and everything like that. And you have the people that are part of that society, and then you have the people who are deviants. Yeah, deviants. Is it just me or kind of vaguely labeled like? Yeah, because one woman was just kind of seemed like a, just a regular woman. <laughs> yeah, she was just right. regular, and she, and they were like, "You're a sympathizer." They're like, well, no, because they were beating up some guy, and they were like, "Well, you must be, you know, a deviant. Let's take you." Yeah. There's another woman they thought that was a prostitute, and she yeah. wasn't, and they just brought her in. Well, you get brought into this camp where you have to wear these big yellow suits. Um, with men and women, they shower together. They can have sex with each other, but they can't get pregnant. Because yeah, if a woman gets pregnant... They're punishable by death, right? Death. Punishable by death. They get sterilized or you get castrated. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but they give you a chance to get away. They, they select some people and they hunt you down in this forest surrounding the actual uh, you know, jail that you're into. And uh, yeah, craziness ensues. Joe. Craziness definitely ensues. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and that so and they're being hunted by is it government people or just rich elites? It's like it, a little bit of everything, right? I think it's a little bit of everything because you have the guy, the main bad guy, stature. He runs like the prison camp. Yeah. But then but you he's have reporting this, to the government. He's reporting to the yeah. government, and then yeah, but then you have these soldiers that kind of like you know they're like the wardens and stuff like that. Yeah, so they get to partake in it as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, well, what do you rate the story? I think this is interesting. I give it a one. It's a weird dystopian future, and I like it, so I'm giving it a one, Joe. I also give it a one. I actually really enjoyed the story. Um, it's just a like. It's the typical people hunting people thing, but just a lot of added elements. And yes. they do a really good job of setting up the world and what it's like to be in this camp and the whole thing. Like they did a really great job with that. So, yeah, one point. Exactly. Next up, Joe. Well, we're going to talk about the people in the movie. We're going to split this up and we're going to start with the Predators. The villain, Thatcher, like we said, he runs the place. And then you have some other people. Uh, they're pretty much psycho people, like psychopaths. Because yeah, you have him, and then you have this woman. Is she the one that has, like, a crossbow? Yeah, she has a, a crossbow that has an exploding tip <laughs> to it. <laughs> Different types of arrows. Ones that can, you know, shoot smoke. Ones that can uh, incapacitate people. Um, she's a sadist as we yeah, can tell. Yeah. Um, and then she's we have crazy. the chief guard, Ritter, who is just a psychopath. The guards were actually pretty cool. Like, not yes. cool, but they were good elements of the character. They, they weren't just, like, throwaways. They actually, yes. like, you, you disliked them. So, yeah, you good had for the story. One that was, like, castrated, he was, like, just nasty and just gross. And, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you have Tito. And Tito, <laughs> this is never explained. Yeah. He's like a rich elite, but he also has like a monster creature. Yeah, that that was my one of my favorite parts of this movie because they're like they're just kind of there and they're these obnoxious rich elite people, and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, his. He calls him a freak. <laughs> That's what it is, a freak. Yes. He's like, my freak. And it's, it's almost like his, I hate to say like, but like his hunting dog that he takes with him on the thing that, you know, it just was like this movie that was kind of grounded in reality. And then it went off into this kind of crazy element. I was like, oh, I love that. I love it. 
that was a very interesting thing. So I personally like the Predators. So yeah. I will give this a one. I agree. One point. I think the 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 Predators in this movie they were all effective. They were all assholes, but yes. you really disliked them. They were effective. What about the prey? The good guys. Okay. <laughs> you have the main guy. His name is Paul. He's a guy that's never been broken because he. I, I guess he goes from like place to place, like these prisons, and it's like yeah. the goal of them to break him. But then you have the the women, Chris. Yeah, she was a little annoying, but she got like a little gusto later. That on. that that was the whole thing with her character was that she was kind of like se very sensitive person, but by the yes. end of it, she had to become tough. Then we have Jennifer, yeah. which who does one of the dumbest things when they get to run off. You know, we have another guy. His name is Griffin. You know, his character. I thought they were going to do more with Griffin because he just seemed like he was like a bigger guy, kind of rough. Yeah. He kind of like, you know, protects her kind of like, hey, you know, I'm going to, you know, take their attention. You run off. He gets killed. Then we cut back to Jennifer. <laughs> She's lollygagging, swimming in a lake. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you know they're hunting you, right? Well, she was pretty. <laughs> Lamar. <laughs> and she became pretty dead, Joe. So that's where with like, I, I, I can understand Paul and Chris. I wish they would have did more with Griffin and Jennifer. And then there was another guy who yeah, was kind so of like a Cretan. That was the thing. They set up other characters as kind of like ancillary good guys or whatever and it was like oh these guys are gonna band together they're gonna come up with a plot to escape like yes. and then they did nothing with any of that yeah I, i'll give it a half point for the prey I, i'll i'll agree with you because i do like the art of chris okay. everybody else because there was another character dodge where you thought he was like you know kind of like greasy and stuff he thought yeah. he was gonna do but no he just he yeah. dies in a horrible way but they we'll did get to set the it up later. though like these guys were going to, they had a plan to get out or something, and then they never did anything with it. Anyways, the next category that we're going to discuss is the special effects and whatnot. <laughs> and the kills, Joe. Kills. We got to talk about the kills. Okay. Boy, oh boy. So, uh, yeah, they had a, a budget for some stuff. One of the first kills was a kid. Yeah. It was a kid. It was a young, like, teen, like a preteen, maybe. Yeah, they tied freaking big ass balls of gasoline, mm -hmm. pushed him around while they were leaking, and then set him on fire, and he exploded. Yes, good lord, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, they did things practical. Um, they have like people getting murked. Uh, yep. they do have the trope where like the one of the guys sets traps for the guards and stuff like that. That was pretty cool. Bodies exploding. <laughs> yes, bodies exploding. That there was, was a lot of explosions <sighs> in this movie. I will say that real explosions, no CGI back then, so they just blew shit up. Where where filmmakers were real filmmakers, <laughs> we don't have no CGI fire. I enjoyed it. I Love enjoyed. It. Now I will say this. It was almost like they, they took a lot of time. They got explosions. They had some pretty other, like, decent things. But there was a scene where someone gets their hands chopped off. And the hand, it was the worst. Look at, it was like they just gave up on that one. <laughs> like, we already spent all our money on the explosions. Here's a fake hand. <laughs> yes, that's probably what. Yes. But the rest of it was pretty cool. So I'll give it a one. I agree. Yes. One. It was awesome. Yes. yes. Now, you wanted to talk about action for the last category. Yes. But we already kind of talked about it. Does that count with the kills and the, all the stuff? What do we need uh, then as a new type of category then? Well, I have my write-in category. Use of turkey and Thanksgiving. I'll give it a zero, Lamar. You just hating. <laughs> <laughs> I chose this movie just because of Turkey. And so I'm giving it a half a point out of pettiness. Okay. <laughs> because if you think about it in Lamar's overthinking of things, what do you have to do for the turkey? You have to hunt it. Aren't people getting hunting hunted in this? Now they don't get eaten. They're not pilgrims and there's no Native Americans. But... Just Lamar, you're one of those, my... what do they call them, Cretans? What do they call them in the movie? 
the the deviants you're deviant sir how am i a deviant <laughs> no no i'm not a deviant i'll tell you why i'm a, not a deviant because i make up I'm, I'm making up some bullshit rules to <laughs> just prove a point so i'm actually part of the elite joe because oh. what, what was there what was there saying joe hold up Let's they did have here. a great saying a quotable saying freedom is obedience obedience is work work is life work is life yeah there you go yeah well mm -hmm. lamar we tallied the score and we're gonna give it a score of four out of five on average yeah we're rounding it up because even though this has nothing to do with thanksgiving never said it did it has something to do with turkeys <laughs> it, it is a turkey shoot that is a you didn't know that term you didn't know that term turkey shoot I was Which has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. Mood. I'm trying to get into the Thanksgiving uh, mood. Ah, uh, pish tosh. And it's here only you the second are week. just giving me movies that have nothing to do with turkeys and Thanksgiving. It does. You have to hunt things. Yes. Well, does that wrap this up then? Yes. Turkey shoot. Turkey shoot. Peace. Deuces. <laughs>